A girl named Sam speaks about someone she remembers as she watches a boat on the sea. In the first chapter of the movie, Revelation, a woman named Liz does the job of a midwife with her little daughter, Sam. Liz is mute, so she communicates with Sam through sign language, and Sam helps her interpret. At their home, Liz sees her husband, Eli, teaching her stepson, Matthew, how to shoot. She goes to tell Eli she's not comfortable with Matthew handling a gun, but Matthew protests that she's not his mother. At church, a new reverend speaks to the people of the town about false prophets, and Liz seems to recognize him. The preacher teaches about hell, and the church sings a closing hymn. After the service, Eli introduces his family to the reverend, but Liz doesn't join them. In their carriage, Eli tells Liz that the reverend is new in town, and he expects more compassion toward him from her. As they plan to leave, Liz notices a woman named Abigail in labor, and she takes her into the church. Inside the church, Liz realizes the baby's head is too big, and decides to take the baby's life in order to save the mother's. At their home, Eli tries to comfort Liz about what happened and tells her it's not her fault. Liz tries to warn Eli about the reverend, but he says the reverend is a man of God. Later on, Liz asks for Matthew's help before she heads somewhere, but he says he's busy. He doesn't seem to like her very much. Liz and Sam arrive at the home of one of the pregnant women that Liz helps, but her husband says there's no need, because the reverend has arranged a doctor for them. Later that night, Nathan drunkenly attacks their home because he feels Liz has caused his child to lose his life. Eli tries to comfort Nathan, but he doesn't listen. Shortly after, the reverend comes to send Nathan away. Liz tries to stop Eli from letting the reverend in, but he doesn't listen. He tells her the reverend has done them a solid, and it's the least they can do. In their home, the reverend tells Eli that Liz had played God and decided who was to live and who was not to. Liz secretly listens in on their conversation, but her husband goes upstairs to call her to meet the reverend. The reverend tells her he knows she's there and tells her he has come to punish her for her sins. After he leaves, Liz tells Eli that they have to leave town, and he promises her they will go see his father in a couple of days. The next day, Matthew finds that all of his father's sheep have been killed. Out of anger, Matthew and Eli go to confront Nathan. Meanwhile, the reverend locks Liz in the barn and goes to meet Sam. Liz tries to escape from the barn but falls and hits her head. At Nathan's home, Eli realizes that Nathan and Abigail have moved out of town. That night, Liz tucks Sam in bed, and Sam asks her why the reverend told her she is evil. When Eli is fast asleep, Liz grabs a gun and goes to find the reverend in the middle of the night to take his life. But she only finds her daughter's doll in the reverend's bed. Meanwhile, the reverend stands by Sam's bed with a knife. Suddenly, Eli wakes up and goes to look around. He spots a light in the barn and checks it out, but the reverend stabs him. The reverend tells Eli he is doing this because Liz loves him as Eli takes his last breath. In the next scene, Liz finds Eli's bleeding body in the barn, with his intestines wrapped around his neck. Matthew steps in and Eli tells him to take the entire family to his father's cabin. Eli later pleads with them to end his pain, and Matthew takes his life out of mercy. Shortly after, they realize that the reverend has set the house ablaze. That night, Liz, Matthew, and Sam escape to Eli's father's house. In the next chapter, which is named Exodus, a girl named Joanna collapses in the desert out of thirst. She is saved by a Chinese family, who take her into their carriage. As they get to a nearby town called Bismuth, the Chinese family sells Joanna to a brothel owned by a man named Frank, who leaves her in the care of one of the pleasure workers named Sally. At night, Sally explains to Joanna their kind of work. They must please men. Later on, while Joanna serves tables, a man named Eastman decides to make love to Sally, but pays enough money to ensure that Joanna watches him. In the bedroom, Eastman starts to strangle Sally. He later tries to forcefully make love to Joanna, and Sally shoots him. The next day, Sally is hanged for what she had done. Days later, Frank tells Joanna that the time has come for her to become a woman, and he makes love to her. In the next scene, Joanna is now grown, and she works as one of the ladies in the brothel. Meanwhile, a man challenges Frank to a gunfight because he has taken his daughter's life, but Frank eliminates him by cheating. Later on, one of the pleasure workers named Elizabeth Brundy, tells Joanna that she would like to leave. The next night, Elizabeth gets her tongue cut off as retribution when she cuts her customer's tongue off for forcefully trying to kiss her. In the next scene, Elizabeth is now mute because of her tongue and communicates with Joanna through sign language. The next day, Elizabeth and Joanna are condemned for their kind of work by a preacher as they walk together. 
Elizabeth and Joanna head to a matchmaker, who tells Elizabeth that he has found a man who would like to marry her, named Eli. On the night that Elizabeth plans to leave, a customer pays to have all the women. The customer turns out to be the reverend, and his choice is Joanna. In the bedroom, the reverend tells Joanna he is not worthy of salvation, but he has come to save her. Later on, he starts to beat her, and Elizabeth walks in on them. She cuts the reverend with a knife, and he stabs her with it. As he proceeds to continue with Joanna, she cuts his throat. Joanna later dresses up Elizabeth as herself and sets Elizabeth's body on fire, in order to take her identity. Shortly after, she goes to meet the matchmaker, and she asks him to set her up with Eli as Elizabeth. She also cuts her own tongue to complete the act. At night, Joanna who is now named Liz, rides on a carriage to meet Eli and his son, Matthew. In the third chapter of the movie, called Genesis. Two men named Samuel and Wolf are badly wounded after a dispute about gold. They ride on a single horse and flee the scene. In a nearby town, the reverend sees his daughter named Joanna speaking Dutch while she prays and he blames his wife, Anna, for his daughter's language. At church the next day, the reverend calls out for his wife, and rebukes her in front of the whole church for not having received a visitation from the Lord, and says he is ashamed of her. Later that night, Joanna sees her father beating up his wife after making a prayer of salvation for her soul. At night, Anna comes to Joanna's bed and weeps. The next day, Joanna spots blood in her undergarment and believes she is dying. Anna explains to Joanna what is going on with her body. While Anna helps Joanna clean up, she complains about how her father never helps out, and Anna explains that doing chores is the fate of women. The Reverend explains to Anna that they need to get down and dirty. The next day, Sam and Wolf arrive at Joanna's home, and she hides them in the barn. Shortly after, the Reverend seems to develop an odd attraction to Joanna which has Anna worried. In the barn, the Reverend explains to Joanna that her mother doesn't fulfill her natural duties to him and he tries to get her to make love with him. Anna comes to tell him that the act is not right, but he doesn't listen. The next night, Anna attempts to make love to her husband, but he refuses, saying that God has other plans. Sometime after, while Joanna dresses up, the Reverend watches her. Anna comes to apologize to him for withholding his right from him, in order to get him to make love with her, but he doesn't listen. She tells him he is committing sin, but he defends himself. When she calls him a filthy pig, he scolds her with his belt. In the next scene, the Reverend and Anna leave the house. Shortly after, Samuel takes out Wolf while he is taking a crap and explains to Joanna that he had to do it or else Wolf would have taken him out. At the blacksmith's shop, the Reverend makes an instrument that he uses to cover up Anna's mouth, to correct her rebellious behavior. At the church, Anna takes her own life, after Joanna had told her that she would never allow someone treat her like her father does to her. The Reverend tells the congregation that he had tried to help his wife, but had failed. Later that night, the Reverend whips himself as a punishment for his sins. Later on, Samuel comforts Joanna of her pain. She tries to make out with him, but he recognizes her grief, and just hugs her. In the next scene, the Reverend captures Joanna and attempts to marry her in the name of God. Samuel interrupts them and attempts to free her, but the Reverend takes him out with his own gun. Later on, the Reverend drags Joanna back to their house, then proceeds to whip her for befriending Samuel. Later on, he forcefully has his way with her. Joanna later runs away. In the fourth chapter, called Retribution. Liz who is rightfully named Joanna, Sam and Matthew are still on the carriage, heading to Eli's father's house. When Joanna realizes that the Reverend is still on their trail, she goes to hunt him down but only finds his horse. On their way, the Reverend takes out Matthew, shooting him multiple times. Later on, Joanna carries Matthew's body, and Sam, to Eli's father's house. That night, Eli's father cries upon hearing the news about Eli and Matthew. He tells her he always thought Eli would inherit his cabin, as he weeps. Later on, Liz loads a gun and Eli's father asks her if she's sure she wants to do this, but she says it's her fight. He offers to do it, but Joanna asks him to stay with Sam. While on lookout, Joanna spots her father, and shoots at him, but realizes it's not as easy as she had thought. The Reverend tells her he will take advantage of Sam, and he will make her watch how he turns her into a woman. When he reminds Joanna that she had left Sam unarmed in the cabin, she rushes into the cabin to find Eli's father's lifeless body. She then rushes to take Sam, but the Reverend catches them. Shortly after, the Reverend whips Sam in front of a tied-up Joanna. He tells Sam that God loves violence because it purifies evil. 
He also tells her he is a man beyond salvation and he can do whatever he wants, as he attempts to take advantage of Sam. Meanwhile, Joanna successfully frees herself from her binds by breaking her arms. She grabs a lamp and throws it on her father, setting him ablaze. She shoots the reverend with the gun, blasting his nasty poop stain out the window. Some time later, Joanna seems to have started a sawmill at Eli's late father's house. She spots Nathan, who tells her he had gone ahead to become a sheriff in Bismuth. He tells her he found a wanted poster of Elizabeth Brundy who had taken out Frank. Joanna realizes that Elizabeth must have taken out Frank before she came into her room to free her from her father. Nathan arrests Joanna for her supposed crimes. On the boat, as Nathan takes away Joanna. She takes a last look at her daughter and jumps into the river with a smile, knowing her daughter will be fine now that the reverend is gone. Nathan shoots into the river, to put an end to the drowning woman. Years later, Sam, who is now a grown woman, runs the sawmill. She narrates the story of her mother and says she feels her mother always watches over her, as she plays with her own daughter. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.